Hi, Dam here. So today I'd like to talk to you about confidence. How to be more confident. For the longest of time, in fact for my entire adult life, whenever I'd walk into a, a supermarket, a grocery store, people would confuse me for one of the employees working there. It used to bother me actually. I mean, you know, like I would go into a grocery store, a, a supermarket, right? And I would look at some food, you know, or something I want to buy. And I'm looking at the price or something, you know. Or maybe I'm just walking by, you know, looking for something. And then often, in fact, it was always a woman. Never a man somehow, but it was always a woman. You know, so a woman would stop me and say, excuse me. How much is this? Or, excuse me, uh, where do you keep your um, detergent? And I always look at them like, I don't work here. Uh, actually, I don't work here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm so sorry. That I, it's okay. I mean, most of the time, I'd be cool about that, you know? And I just smile and they're smiling, you know? I, it's okay. But other times, I would be a little bit upset, especially when people would approach me and just talk to me from my back and said, uh, how much is this? Listen, how much is this? There's no price tag there. Then I tell them, I would know I don't work here. You know, I mean, that's, that's when people will just approach me wrongly, you know, I, I think. But you know, like over the years, so it used to happen all the time, all the time, you know. Supermarkets, um, it could be any type of store, man. It could be uh, a tools and hardware store, um, you know, any kind of place of business. Often people will just look at me and then uh, ask me a question about the, the work or ask me if I'm working there, you know. And then, you know, I, I used to wonder, do I look like I work there, right? I mean, look, this is a supermarket. Every employee there has a uniform and a name tag. So I wouldn't really understand why. I could be coming from the gym, popping by um, my local supermarket. Somebody would see me and uh, in tracksuit gear, man, with a tracksuit, you know, I mean, gym, gym gear. So obviously I'm not working there, but somebody will still stop me and ask me, uh, um, excuse me, you know, I'm, I'm looking for this item, uh, or I'm looking for the correct price on that, or where could I find that? And I'd be like, um, no, no, I don't. Said, oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I said, no, it's okay. I could be wearing a nice, tailored suit, black suit, tie, white shirt, formal shoes, I'm popping by a supermarket or a grocery store to buy something quickly there. Somebody will stop me. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you know, said, no, I don't work here actually. Oh, oh, okay, you know. And I would think, but you know, this is strange. I mean, some, some people, track suit, they think I'm working there. Nice suit, they think I'm working there. So, uh, you know, I would think, uh, come on, man. I mean, uh, do I look like I work here? I mean, excuse me, but you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, and then I started thinking there must be something about me that makes people think that I work in, in a supermarket or a grocery store, right? I realized uh, later on what was the problem? What was really, really, really something that made me understand exactly why people always thought that I was working in that particular supermarket, if I would go to a supermarket and buy something or a grocery store or anywhere, when I really realized that people were not being prejudiced. You know, well, some might have been, I don't know, but most people were not being prejudiced. They really thought I was working there 
Not because I was the only black guy in that supermarket or grocery store, no. But it was something else. And it dawned on me what it was. Many, many years ago, I went to this hospital where I had never been before. And I walked in there. I was wearing jeans, sneakers, and a t-shirt. And as I'm walking there, like I said, jeans, t-shirt, sneakers, you know, looking relaxed. This cleaner comes. Right? So she comes the opposite direction. And there's other people walking around. You know, there's, there's, there's visitors, there's patients, there's employees, you know. So I'm walking by and she looks at me, I look at her, this a woman. And, uh, you know, I just greet her like, hi. And she says, uh, good morning, doctor. And she carries on. Then I thought, I didn't pay attention at first because, you know, usually in my hospital, they would always say, good morning, doctor, right? So I, I didn't pay attention at first. I thought it's normal. And then I passed by another ward. There was another ward, I think it was ICU, right? And an ICU nurse came out and saw me. And I said, um, hi, sister. And she said, um, hi, doctor. Then I moved on. And then I realized that, wait a minute. How would she know I'm a doctor? I've never been here before. She's never seen me before. And how would that cleaner know I'm a doctor? That's odd. Anyway, later on, you know, um, later on during the day, I met a friend. And, and I told him the story, like, you know. And he just, he just laughed. And he said, uh, do you, do you don't know why they taught you a doctor in the hospital? I said, no, I mean, look, is it written doctor on my forehead? Or, you know, come on, man. Could have been anybody, right? And then he looked at me and he said, when you walk in the hospital, you calm, you're relaxed, you look happy. It's your environment. You're comfortable around hospital people. You are in your element. And obviously, these two ladies picked that up the minute they saw you and they assumed you were a doctor working there. And when he said that, I realized that, you know, everything made sense. I just looked comfortable, calm, and confident. So they assumed that I'm probably working there. And now coming to all those supermarkets and grocery stores, people always confuse me for somebody who works there, whether in truck suit or a nice suit or whatever clothes I'm wearing, because they just look at my demeanor. They assume that this guy is working here. He looks quite comfortable, confident, at ease with the place, you know? And, and, and it struck me that that's, that's the thing. That's the thing, you know? That's why, that's the key to confidence, actually. Right? So the keys to confidence are being comfortable with yourself. Being comfortable in your own skin. Be calm. Be relaxed. Just be yourself. Don't overdo it, man. Just be yourself. When you go out in a social setting and you want to approach somebody, you know, maybe a nice lady you've seen and you'd like to initiate a conversation, forget about all those bullshit alpha male teaching. It's crap. Just approach that person as you would approach a friend. Be comfortable, be relaxed, smile, and things are just gonna, you know, don't prepare yourself. Don't prepare like a text or some kind of opening line or some, some kind of opener, you know, some... That's, that never works, man, you know, you, you're gonna appear too robotic, you know, it's gonna look premeditated. It's not gonna look good, man, you know, they're gonna sniff you out a mile away. Just be comfortable, just be relaxed. Um, almost with a cavalier type of attitude, you know, and uh, go ahead and approach people and talk to anybody you want, right? 
Anyway, those are my um, few advices I have on being more confident and being more attractive, you know. Don't follow the alpha male BS that you see all over, Facebook, all over YouTube. I hope this will help you out and this will contribute to make you a better person. And I hope that when you wake up tomorrow, you will be one step closer to becoming a better person and be better than you were yesterday. Ciao.